Well, we are in an active weather pattern. That means that day in and day out, things change a little bit more quickly than they would if we were just in a stagnant weather pattern. So we're warming up each day. We might get a little cool down here and there, but really it's a big drop that's coming at the end of the weekend that we're going to be paying attention to. At least for today, it's been warmer. We've had more sunshine. We're also going to be getting winds out of the south the next couple of days. That's going to bring those temperatures up as well. But we're also tracking rain. So on top of that, we have to talk about what's going to be changing, not just with the temperatures, but also in the precipitation department. As far as our temperature change from this time yesterday, we're a couple degrees, maybe a little bit more, 5 to 10 uh, from uh, just 24 hours ago, warmer. So obviously that sunshine did help bring things out of the gloom of yesterday. But we are going to be tracking the next round of rain, which will come in with a cold front through the day tomorrow, tonight, or tomorrow night and also bring the temperatures down a little bit. So it's really going to be an up and down, kind of a fluid motion throughout the next few days. Satellite and radar composite loop shows that we are trying to see a few showers get going, but with the lack of daytime heating, and on top of that, a lot of dry air over our section of the country, that's kind of impeding some of those showers. But tomorrow they will get going, and they will bring in at least widespread to scattered showers across the region. Mostly light, mostly moderate, not expecting anything too heavy out of this. But it is a change compared to what we had today, which was the high pressure. So there's that cloud coverage. There you go, seeing the showers getting going. We could see some spots of heavier rain mixed in. But for the most part, this is not going to be a big rain producer, at least not what we're going to be seeing coming up. So maybe a few tenths of an inch of rain at best. After that, the high pressure scoots in, and we're back to the sunshine as early as Thursday. Now, with Friday, we'll start to see the next shower and thunderstorm activity get going, at least in the midsection portion of the state with the cold front. It will eventually arrive sometime over the weekend, and the pattern keeps on going. You see, it's kind of a redundant thing. Day in, day out, something changes. So for the sunshine, pretty much going all the way through Tonight it's going to be clear, so we'll see that temperature drop down pretty quick. And then there you go, cloud coverage increases pretty quickly throughout the middle of the day for tomorrow. Then the showers get going central part of the state sometime in the early to mid-afternoon, and then eventually making their way out of our eastern counties early Thursday morning. Can't rule out a few showers, especially with all that cloud coverage early in the morning Thursday, but I think for the most part the commute will be fine. And then as we get into the afternoon, the sunshine is back, another beautiful day despite the fact that we did start the day off with a lot of cloud coverage and some rain. So once again, not a whole lot as far as production goes, maybe a quarter of an inch at most, but most of us will stay between a few hundredths of an inch and maybe up to two-tenths at most out of this one particular cold front. But let's track the temperatures because there will be a dip, but not quite what we're going to be expecting at the end of the weekend coming up. We do have temperatures warming up throughout the day tomorrow. Here's that first dip from the cold front coming in into Thursday morning. As we go throughout Friday and Saturday, though, we do get the wind shifting again out of the south. A warm front going to keep those temperatures rising up into the 60s or even upper 50s. And then the next plunge comes in Sunday afternoon with that big cold front. We're talking big. It's going to be bringing a lot of shower, a lot of thunderstorm activity. Some of that uh, could get pretty strong at times. But really, the main difference is going to be that temperature drop. 61 degrees down to 39 in just 24 hours. Safe to say there's <laughs> winter coming right back into the forecast. Sure, it looks like it, huh? 20s and 30s? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thanks,